So when I got up this morning, it had been thundering and lightning overnight. We already had an inch of rain when I got up this morning. I know that we probably got at least another inch and a half, inch or inch and a half since then. And it has been raining like this all day long. It is just crazy. It is just way too windy and rainy for me to actually film anything. Let me duck over here on this side of the house, maybe be a little quieter. But it is just way too rainy to film anything today. So I do film a lot around here. It's kind of crazy. I'm always filming everything we do, and there's so much of it. Actually, never makes it onto onto YouTube as a true video. But a lot of times I'll take some, some video that we filmed around here. I'll take short clips of that. I post that to our Facebook page. Uh, or if something that, that didn't make a video got hit the cutting room floor, you know. And I'll take those clips. I'll post those to Facebook. So today I thought I'd maybe put those together and show those with you guys. Share those with you guys. So here's some short clips of stuff that happened here on the homestead over the last six months. It's holding about 115 degrees. The cheese is looking really good. So we're going to go ahead and just flip these over. We've got them on a nice 45 so they get that nice pattern on them. Well, I see you beat me to another one of these duck eggs, Comet. You're a little egg hunter. What? Here are you meowing at me. What? This ain't a race. Just look. You're gonna let a cat beat you? Come on. Silly, silly dog and cat. 
All right, let's look down here. Uh, probably getting a little too cold. Crawdads down here the other day. Practically a creek. Mm. Pond's up. We've got a ton of rain. Look at this. Oh man. Oh. Oh. I just don't want you to float away. Seems to be a new place that they lay eggs. Look, another one. God dang. It's crazy. Crazy that you walk around finding duck eggs. I gotta start giving these things away. I've got too many. Oh my, another one. That's where they sleep at night. They're laying them in their sleep. Four duck eggs. Usually I get three. Right, Maggie? We usually only get like three duck eggs. That's where those eggs were the other day. They're all down here under the water. In that nest. This still amazes me how much water comes off this pond. Pretty amazing. Okay. I follow this down that way and find a little bit of a comber spot, I'll probably find fish. Fish that came from my pond. So today, my wife actually, um, she was watching our nephew. He's like two and a half years old and they were fishing, they were walking around the pond and they went looking for duck eggs. And what they ended up finding was kind of neat. I'm not even sure exactly what it is. So maybe you guys can show me or tell me what you guys think this is. So they ended up finding next to our boat this really big egg. We're not even sure what this is. This thing is at least three and a half inches long. This here is a duck egg and this is one of our chicken eggs. And I don't know if you can tell this thing is huge. This is about like the size of three duck eggs. So let me pick this up. You can see this in my hand. This thing is a huge egg. Um, so we're not sure exactly what that is. So we do get Canadian geese, you know, here on the pond. And uh, so I'm not sure if this is a Canadian goose egg or exactly what that is. But that is one huge egg. And um, so let me know what you guys think it is. We do get, you know, like wild ducks. We do get um, we do get blue herrings. We get blue herrings on our pond as well. But uh, so last night I do know we had some Canadian geese on the pond last night. So I'm not 100% sure what this is. Uh, but let me know what you guys think that egg came from. I'm pretty sure that's too big for one of our ducks to have laid that. I'm pretty. That's like three duck eggs is about the size of that thing. So I don't think that's like a double yolk duck egg. I think that's way too big of an egg for a duck. So let me know what you guys think um, that egg actually ended up coming from. Let me flip this around. Check that out. The ducks just like ran up here. 
Like all of a sudden, I thought they wanted some food. I don't know if they just realized I was here, but a lot of times when they see I'm outside, they'll run over to me so I can give them some, some corn or something. Silly ducks. So all the ducks came back up here again. And I think what the deal is, is they're hearing me rattle this, you know, this bag as I'm, you know, emptying the bag. And they think it's a feed bag, so they think I'm going to give them some food. So then they run up here to see if they can get any free food. And if I don't give them anything here, you know, in a few minutes they start, you know, they start wandering off. So, but I think that's what it is. I think they keep hearing me rattling these bags. I think I'm going to feed them. Anyway, so we're thinking this is a goose egg. So we have Canadian geese that, uh, you know, land on the pond. And there happened to be Canadian geese the night before. This is a three and a half inch long egg, big egg. And uh, so we're gonna crack it open today because some people think maybe it's an egg within an egg. I kind of doubt that it is, probably a Canadian goose egg. But anyway, uh, we'll, I'll turn the camera around here. We'll crack this egg, open, this egg open and see what it looks like inside. So this is a chicken egg. This is a duck egg, and this is the egg we found on the pond. So we're gonna crack it open, see what it is. Okay. It's so big, oh. this may be hard to crack. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my, that's a huge yolk. <laughs> so it was not an egg within an egg. Holy cow, that yolk is like at least two inches wide. That thing, <laughs> that thing is a huge yolk. Yeah. All right. Definitely a goose egg. Definitely a goose egg. <laughs> well, I was finally able to get the weed eater out and get trimming around all these fruit trees here in the orchard. So the orchard's actually looking pretty good tonight. Uh, most of the trees have gone through bloom and actually you can find fruit starting to form on most of these trees so the orchard's looking pretty good and if you look at the strawberries it looks like we're actually gonna have a pretty good year on strawberries as well comment did you fall asleep during your shower yeah did that feel good you have to get up you have to go to the vet i know it's really comfy in there isn't it yeah, you're all relaxed. You had a warm water massage. Relaxed you. Come on, let's get up. Comment. Get up, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on, get up. Comment. Come on. Hi, ducks. Where are you guys going? Look at these ducks. Look at the way they walk. I think the Pekings are the funniest ducks to watch. They definitely waddle like a duck. So recently, the ducks have discovered the underside of my wife's car. And they're all underneath her car. They've done this a few times now. Crazy. Crazy, crazy ducks. Piggy delicacy. Yeah. Let me say you some little piggy. Come here. Little skittish piggy. You gotta share, man. You called it all. Look, you have a whole bowl full. You do. It's good stuff, huh? Oh. Here, here's another one. Hey, you have a whole bowl. Yeah. 
They're really that enthusiastic about the strawberries. They're interested in smelling them. Yeah. <laughs> noses they... are... I know I didn't bring any cookies, but they're in the garage. We can go get them some food. Fake food. We'll go get some more. You guys will smell good. They should smell really good. Yeah, at least they'll smell like strawberries. Yeah. Should have pigs. Penny? Easy. Easy. Good boy. Ready? Easy. Good boy. Here. Here. Come here, little piece. Ready? Be real easy. <laughs> Good boy. Easy. Hey, there you go. You're in my car Well, that was just a few of the things that I've posted on our Facebook page over the last six months. Um, I'm not really big into Facebook. I don't, I'm not really big into social media. But uh, when I do edit videos and go through my, the things that I've taped, I do try to, you know, uh, set things aside to put on our Facebook page. So if you're interested in seeing that kind of thing, you can always like our Facebook page and I'll, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. As you can see, it stopped raining. It's looking a little bit better outside now. And right when this actually stopped raining, the sun came out. It got really bright there at the end. And we ended up having a rainbow that went from basically over where the barn is right over to our pond. And it actually looked really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video. I'm going to end it with a shot of that rainbow. Thanks for watching. This is crazy. There's a big rainbow here. I don't know if the phone will catch it, but it looks like the, paint, the rainbow continues right onto my pond. That's pretty cool. Check that out.